Good afternoon, ladies, gents, and Pikachus. This is a quick comment response. I won't say who it was, because this has been a thing that comes up fairly often. And um, what I want to do is separate some meanings for you. So, paganism is not the same as polytheism. And I think a lot of people kind of mould these two things together, because some pagans are also polytheists, and some polytheists are also pagans. But there is a difference between the two. Polytheism means you worship a set of gods, rather than just one god. Whereas Paganism means your god, it doesn't have to be several gods, you can still have only one god, but it means your god is a oneness. And what that means is your god comes from a separate god in a previous religion, and has now been reborn in a different form with a new name. For instance with Allah, Allah is synonym synonymous with um, Set, Set is synonymous with Tammuz, Tammuz is synony uh, synonymous with today's Satan, so it's the same God, and that's why with Muslims they will claim that Jews and Christians are worshipping the same God because Allah means God. What, what they don't realise is when they're saying Allah means God, Allah doesn't mean God to Christians. God to Christians means God, like the God of the Christians. And the, the same goes for Jews. When the Jews say God, they're talking about a specific character who he do, he's never been seen before in history as a previous god, and he won't have a different name in future. If that were to happen, that would make him a, a, a pagan god. Whereas Allah has had different names and different forms in the past, and we know that from the iconography which they, they use in their temples. For instance, there's a temple in... Um, it's actually a Catholic cathedral inside of a mosque in Mecca. And Muslims will go there and they will pray towards the head of John the Baptist, the disembodied head of John the Baptist. Now the reason they do that is because they believe that Allah's spirit can, in, um, can be contained within that disembodied head. And if you think about it, that isn't monotheism. Monotheism means your God is contained within one being and doesn't ever leave or have different names. So for instance, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is not a reborn different guy from the past. We know Jesus Christ was born in Nazareth, um, you know, during the Nativity period, and that's the only time he's ever going to be born. There's not going to be another birth of Jesus Christ in future. But Allah can't say that. Allah says he has never been born, he's always existed. So that means then before the Quran, when he existed, he existed under a different name. And that is why he's synonymous with all these previous gods from the Egyptian pantheon, and actually why the Muslims decided they were going to destroy the Egyptian pantheon when they were first seen in Egypt, and that's described inside the Quran. So in, in summary, is, is Islam a polytheist faith? No. But is Islam a pagan faith? In my view, yes, because their god has been seen before in different forms and will likely be seen again in future in different forms, and because their god is not contained within one being. And that is the reason why they say Jews and Christians are secretly worshipping Allah, even though they're not, because they believe anyone who is worshipping any god under any name is actually worshipping Allah. And that's the reason why they're pagans and not monotheists. Monotheists believe their god is a singular, unique being who is born one time and then just exists. Or like the Jews believe that their um, god the father, Yahweh, wasn't born, he was the first creator spirit who everything was born from, but he's not going to change his name. They're not going to start calling him Allah or Fred or, you know, he's always going to be that same character and he doesn't, in, he doesn't embody other gods. He won't send his spirit into other gods or other people who worship other gods are never going to be secretly worshipping him. His worship is not done in secret. So if you want to worship Yahweh, you have to recognise that he is Yahweh and not worship him through the name of another god. So when, when Muslims are saying anyone who worships gods actually worship in Allah, what they're talking about there is a oneness, the god of many forms and names, who is Set, who is Satan. That isn't monotheism, that's paganism. So anyway, a bit longer than I thought, but um, it needed to be said, so hopefully you enjoyed that and you learned something. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. So in summary, Allah can inhabit all gods, but a monotheistic god is just a unique being that doesn't inhabit other gods or take other forms. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye-bye.